Well, at first glance, the Faustin Public Library looks to be just that. But head inside and you'll find much more. For this week's In Focus, Mel Meyer took a tour of the building that is also home to one of the area's few arts and culture organizations. Converted from a church to a library in 1981, the building on 4th and Foss Avenue was quickly outgrown by its tenants. Um, in 2003, through, the through a community uh, fundraising effort, we offered different levels of giving. They were able to transform the space for the library and the Faustin Community Library and Arts Association. And everything on this site is the old building. Besides the movie theater, the association provides the only theater stage in town. This past year, we've invested heavily in our sound and light system. The investment is worth it to provide high quality productions year-round. We have a lot of work yet to be done, but we're pretty excited. The association uses the area for events like author lectures, concerts, and children's theater productions. But the nonprofit maintains good relationships with others to offer the space for their own unique shows. We really want to diversify our programming to bring in new audiences that maybe wouldn't come to our summer children's theater, but they might come to a Civil War musical. It's truly the collaborative spirit that keeps the organization going. Collaboration really works. You know, it really is nice when you can partner with other artists, other arts organizations to make something happen in your community. In the spirit, the FCLAA Here's our recording studio. also provides spaces in its former basement location for area music teachers to give private lessons or use the recording studio. One of our goals is to work more closely with the school district to offer students the opportunities to learn the recording industry. But they don't just have an impact on the local artists and culture scene. With its latest art exhibit upstairs in the gallery, they're looking to help the lives of women in underdeveloped countries. Making our community aware of what else is out there and learning to appreciate other cultures, other art forms is one of our goals. Whether it's something to host in the music spaces, gallery, or theater, there's always room for one more with the FCLAA. With this week's In Focus in Faustin, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.